In our last video, Albania part 1, we had an amazing time in Shenzhen. We've met a lot of fellow travelers, great people to spend our time with. We did some exercise, shared our food and enjoyed the relaxed atmosphere. Hi guys and welcome to this second installment of our Albania trip. Welcome to Tirana. Today. Tirana, the capital of Albania. We're currently on the Tanners Bridge. A bridge from 1700. It's from the Ottoman period, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, fine. Like you have seen in our previous vlog, we spent a lot of time on the beach. Yesterday yeah. we left, finally. And we made a quick stop, brief stop in Patok Nature Patok Reserve. Patok Laguna. Yeah. It's also a very beautiful place. Just to stay there, walk around, it's not that big. No, not that big. But we stayed there because it was already only one hour to Tirana. Yeah. Uh, but it was nice, nice place to walk around, small. Um, popular with locals, a lot of fish restaurants. Yeah. So today we're going to visit Tirana. And probably after this we go back to into nature. So... Let's see. Let's check this capital out. Come on. What it has to offer. A beautiful weather today. Yeah. Perfect. So far we like in Tirana a lot, it's a lively city, it's, it's a shock walking around here, it's different to the rest of the country, it's a very modern, lively, green city, building a lot, small city. First up, Komititi, it's a tip of our German friends, Steffi and Alex, uh, we learned to know on the beach, a previous episode, I'll link it above, and this is a Raki, they said I have to try this traditional brandy of uh, Albania. It's an anise one. I uh, thought it was stronger. Maybe it's because of me, but it's tasty, but I expected it to be of a much higher alcohol level. Maybe it will kick in in 10 minutes, I don't know. Our favorite fast food as a vegan is freshly prepared falafel and chips. We can't resist this delicious food. It's falafel and chips time. It can't be better. A sunny afternoon, eating a tasty lunch and in the meantime observing people in the park. People in the park during the weekend are of all ages, mostly relaxed, doing the things they love. As a flaneur, the perfect place to be in the city. Etan Bay Mosque is one of the oldest and most important mosques in Tirana. Works on it started in the late 18th century and lasted over 20 years. Today it is possible to visit the mosque and admire its stunning architecture and its beautiful frescoes. 
now when you look behind us you see the bunker and it's not only the bunker it's also a museum yeah, it's a labyrinth under the ground uh, 18 rooms i guess it's a museum turned into a museum because this is a bunker you see them all over Albania, all over Tirana, here in the middle. A lot of them, in every corner you see bunkers. And this one is turned into a uh, museum about the Ministry of Internal Affairs during uh, communism. So I don't know if you can film there, but otherwise we will tell you afterwards. That's for sure. Don't expect to see art here. Once you go underground, you can explore the maze of narrow corridors and learn more about the difficult and tragic times for the Albanians. Until 1992, nobody could enter or leave the country without punishment or death. Many people died during this communist period. Morning. We left Tirana this morning, the capital, really nice place. And now we're on the way to Berat. We have a very beautiful sunny day. Um, it's just one and a half hour, almost two hours drive to Berat. Uh, it's nice because we drove uh, next to the olive trees and small roads, really nice. Uh, Berat is known for the city of the thousand windows. Berat, one of Albania's oldest towns, founded back in the ancient ages. The city was called Biligrad, the White City. It's pretty obvious where it comes from, as the old town of Berat is full of white houses, all of them facing the river. We totally can see why everyone goes crazy about Berat, as we fell under its charm from the very first moment. It's lovely to walk between the white houses on the narrow cobbled streets, glued against the mountainside. No wonder this is declared a UNESCO World Heritage. Next stop is at the King Mosque, Samiyan Bret, one of the oldest Islamitic architecture in Berat dating back to the 15th century. This beautiful and serene place is a must visit. Also the next building, the Dervish's house, where the Sufis performed their religious dances is eye-catching. If you know us, you know we always drink a cup of coffee before we leave. Good morning! This time still from Berat. This morning when we woke up, we went grocery shopping, we bought some bread and we posted a postcard to my parents because we do this in every country we come. And we are now almost ready to leave Berat and go to the coast side. But first... But first, look, at the, look to my hair. It's very greasy, so it needs to be washed. But...
The Vyosinarte Delta is only a one and a half hours drive from Berat. These scenic wetlands are a magnet for migrant birds and van lifers. We were also welcomed by a herd of goats and their shepherds who came every night before sunset. The goats were still hungry after walking around the Laguna the whole day. I'm ready. I'm ready because I'm going to make pancakes. Pancakes! Pancake morning. First time on this trip. Finally. Yeah, because the weather is getting better, so good time for pancakes. Otherwise, they will be cold. And and then today we go for a walk. Pancakes and walk to the monastery. Yeah. Deal. What do you think of these pancakes? We have them for breakfast and we didn't know but today is pancake day. So double luck. But normally we have berries and yogurt but this is difficult to find here in Albania. Vegan yogurt. Is vegan yogurt, to find. vegan yogurt, that's true. And yogurt's enough with it. But we're happy with this. Happy one. pancake day! Happy pancake day for all! Bon appetit! Bon appetit! Summer time! I smell sunscreen in the air. Oh yes, I have sunscreen. Uh, just had lunch, took it easy this morning. Uh, went for a little walk after our pancake. Yep. Got uh, rid of my hideous moustache. Now he looks so young! Woo, I have uh, had lunch and no. now we go for a little walk. To a for church. 40 minutes one way to a church or a monastery I guess. It's a monastery Almost on an island. It's like on a, a little island little here in the island. bay. Yeah. The monastery and church of St. Mary is only a small walk from our camping spot. The church is small and beautiful, but the cherry on the cake is the entranceway. To get to the island, you have to cross a wooden bridge, which oscillates over the sea. Also a great spot for birdwatching. Close the day with Eve's perfect campfire. We love this place so much, staying in the middle of nature surrounded by water. After three nights we have to leave because we're running low on food. So time to go grocery shopping. Oh. 
First strawberry of the year. They're not completely ripe yet, but the taste is already very good. While Eve is driving uphill, I'm trying strawberries, local strawberries. Mm. Very sweet. Not completely ripe. Uh, quick stop. We're here in Logara National Park. Mm -hmm. Mountain pass, 1000 meter altitude, and there's a small walk only. One hour? One hour max. walk, max. Uh, not too much elevation. So, first lunch, then a little walk, and we go further. Yeah, we fill our water. Uh, there should be a little mountain stream where we can fill up our water tank as well. It's fresh spring water. This is not just a walking path. Julius Caesar, the famous Roman Emperor, and his soldiers once marched on this path. Some say the Logara Pass is the best coastal drive in the world and a great experience. It's part of the Logara National Park at the height of 1027 meter. The mountain pass overlooks the Albanian Riviera. Very beautiful. But when you drive, you need 100% concentration. We have arrived at our spot of the day. Keparo. I was going to say Kerapo, but this is Keparo. Keparo. Uh, Albanian Riviera. Yeah. Part under the olive trees and uh, with the sea view. Uh, after it's our hike and our waterhole, we passed the Logara Pass mm -hmm. on the way down. Hairpin after hairpin. It was a beautiful Very ride. Very beautiful. Yeah. It's not that sunny today. But it's, it's beautiful. The surroundings yeah. has something. The sound it's a beautiful of beautiful region, a beautiful region donkeys. of Albania. Sound of the donkeys around us. Yeah. Mountains, in the sea, olive trees, and a beautiful empty promenade. <laughs> go to see if there's something to see in the, in the village. Maybe it's more busy when you go. Yeah, in go the for city. a little walk, sunset walk. After searching for human existence in this coastal town, without much success, we decide it's time to move on. Mm. Plans change. Plans are made to change. Yeah, we are now close to the border with Greece. It's only about 500 meter away from here, spending our last money. So it on means the end of Albania. Very strong coffee. <laughs> and we're going to fill up the, uh, our tank. Yep. Uh, Normally, on the way here, yeah. We would go to Butrint. But the ferry wasn't running, unfortunately. Yep. We wanted to visit the archaeological site of Butrint, but we were on the wrong side of Laguna. We had to take yep. the ferry, but it wasn't running. Unfortunately, so, but on the way there we visited uh, the Blue, Blue Eye. Eye. Blue Eye, amazing place. Very yeah. beautiful nature. Natural phenomenon. Very, very strange. Hard to explain. But it's a hole in the ground and water is coming up. They think it's 50 meters deep. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Yeah, really worth the stop. So this but, is the last one. Yeah, last Albania. one from Albania. Never thought when I was waking up this morning I would go to bed in uh, Greece. Greece, but it is what it is. Me neither. So. If Hope you like, you like this one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already yeah hopes uh, to see you next time in Greece. Greece now it's time for this strong coffee thanks for watching bye <laughs> see you guys <laughs> Thank you.